Okay, so today is part one of a two-part series on how to make fiberglass bodywork for race cars, specifically my off-road buggy. Now, um, first part is going to be doing the foam molds, so getting all the foam ready for that. And the second part is going to be the fiberglass. Now, to make the foam molds, you'll need some high-density extruded polystyrene, a hot wire cutter that you'll need to make up yourself, a car battery, and some plywood and a jigsaw. So the part we're making today will be the dash panel, which will fill in this area around here and give us some nice aerodynamics through there and give us plenty of places to mount switches and stuff. So because I've got CAD, I'm just going to take those white profiles from that and then extrapolate that into plywood templates. But if you don't have that, you can always just work out what your profiles need to be and go from there. So if we take these profiles and then cut them out, out of plywood, you can just rule them by working out a few different points. I just made some points along a bit and then up a bit and then worked out a curve off that and then just jigsaw these profiles out then screw it on using some brackets. A sheet of plywood this big is only 30 bucks so it's a pretty cheap way of doing it. So you just come up with a few profiles along the length and space them out by your foam spacing. So you can either make it one foam block part or what I did was I got the thickness of two foam blocks so they'll sit in like that. So when you cut it with the hot wire it'll go through them. Now after you've got your template ready what you've got to do is make a whole bunch of foam blocks to go in between it. So these don't have to be terribly accurate you can see the finish on mine is pretty awful but you're just trying to make quick things to be a template. So what you do is you work out your height from there to there and then go maybe 10 mil higher than that and then cut out a block to go that height. So I'll show you how to do that. To cut the blocks, mark out your cutting line. Then using your hot wire cutter in a sawing action, slice through the block like so. Moving the wire up and down will stop it from overheating and lower your number of breakages. That'll give you your foam blank. Once all your foam blanks cut, just shove them into the frame. Give them a good whack down to secure them. And then we have the base mold. Just remember to hit them around with your fists a bit on the edges until these line up so they're almost connected in the center. And you can just check down the gaps for the other ones. It's important that they're lined up that way or otherwise you're going to have a gap. Cutting out the profile is a job best performed with two to three people. It's simplest if you have one person on each side of the wire cutter and one person watching over it to make sure that you're in line. To cut the mold, slowly move the wire cutter through it. You will not need significant pressure to move it through as the wire should do all the work for you. If you press too hard, the line may bow and you'll end up with an inaccurate result. You'll never wire cut it just perfectly. So once you're done, sand it with some medium to coarse grit sandpaper to smooth it off the finish. Once you've done that, Use some water-based builder's putty to fill in all the holes and gaps and smoothen out the overall surface. Okay, so after two coats of sanding it down and filling it back up again, we now have our finished mold, which should be free of all sort of surface imperfections. You have tiny little micro cracks because they'll be filled up by your mold release later on. But yeah, it should just be very smooth and a high finish because whatever finish you have now is what's gonna be on your final product. So anyway, that's all for part one. Thanks for watching, and part two should be out fairly soon once I get my fiberglassing stuff in and can make the other molds for you. Hopefully, see you next time.